Star Wars 1313 is a game about being a bounty hunter in the most dangerous place in the galaxy, 1313. 1313 is this location beneath the surface of Coruscant and it's where the criminal underworld in the Star Wars galaxy lives. Now you think of the surface of Coruscant and you think of the Art Deco, the streamline, always of the golden hour. As you head down and you realize, you know, all of the sunlight's going away, it's getting cooler, it's getting darker. It starts to seat the player into this darker world. The journey from the surface of Coruscant to 1313 kind of parallels Dante's Inferno, kind of like a literal like journey into Star Wars hell. It's like a way that we can take the player from the Star Wars that they know to this completely new world. It grows on the lore of the whole franchise. As we go down like this really deep industrial elevator, you have that original connection from Upper Coruscant from what you've seen, but then you have this whole new layer of just grunge and filth. It's a very mysterious kind of environment to be in. It has a grandeur to it. It has a little bit of class, but you know that it's all rotten underneath all of that. We're always very careful to make sure that we're completely authentic to that world, that it makes sense. There is plausibility and reason behind everything that we're doing with it. Um, and when you start thinking of it in those terms, it really does start to feel like a character in its own right, having its own moods. In every city, you've got the bad part of town. Well, this is a city that's made up of the bad part of town. You picture the Vegas Strip. This is the old Vegas kind of approach to a Star Wars city. It's old, it's got a lot of history. It's just not somewhere that you want to be caught in an alley on a Friday night. It's a city on the floor and a city on the ceiling, crowbarred into one space. The character of the city is oppressive, it, it, it looms, and it, it should feel like the weight of all of those other layers running all the way up to the surface is just bearing down on the player at all times and just getting the sense that you're being crushed by this, this huge impersonal entity that doesn't care whether you live or die. In the original film, it was very clear who the good guys and the bad guys were, but the characters in our world are definitely more in the gray area in Star Wars that we've not seen before. 1313 is kind of a world where these crime families can exist and definitely thrive under the Empire. In terms of gameplay, that helps us bring in a lot more threat, pressure, and tension into the game in the moment-to-moment -moment experience. With this dark and dangerous location, we really want the player to have a compelling experience that they haven't seen before. That love and dedication to the world itself is such an important part of the formula, particularly when you're dealing with Star Wars. With the amount of detail that's gone into making this world, we really have only just scratched the surface, and there is going to be a lot more to hear about it in the future.